So uh, SUFAC, as you know, made recommendations for next year's athletic program, and those are being fully respected. Uh, part of what we didn't want to do was to have a decision or have a process start right in the middle of your budget making decision process or as a, after or interrupt what you guys have decided for next year. And so we're trying to respect that and that's why there's a year right, that you guys in the fall will be working with the Milwaukee folks with campus uh, to come up with a basically a new type of athletics activities program and a health and wellness program for this campus. So we were respecting the SUFAC decision that was made back in January-ish, February, when I think that so was roughly it. The SUFAC decision only affected 2019, 2020, not 2021, 2020, 2020. Okay. All right. Yeah, you'll, you'll go through the 2021 decision-making process next January, yeah, or thereabouts. Just to clarify for audience members, SUFAC stands for uh, Segregated Use of University Fees Allocations Committee. So that is made up of faculty, staff, as well as up to four student representatives. Um, and they, as student representatives, we make recommendations to the committee as to how much we think each different category of, of student life on campus should get how much money. And so uh, as student rep, we don't get a vote on SUFAC, we make recommendations. So just a little bit of the internal stuff to just clarify and make that clear. Um, do I have an additional question? Could you clarify um, the health, the new health and wellness programs you're planning? Um, well, that's part of the planning process. We'll be figuring out what those look like, but things like mental health and um, stress management, uh, yoga classes, meditation, those would all be kind of under that health and well nutrition, right? good diet, uh, good life habits. That would be all under the health and wellness area. And then rec club sports would be more on the athletic side. But what those look like uh, is what students and the folks at Milwaukee will be working on next year. Thank you. So you'll be as part of defining what that is exactly for you, what you want. Are there any more questions on the board? Um, being that, <coughs> uh, being that like, um, I understand that like, uh, the the competitive sports with the two-year campuses, um, those as they're um, uh, transitioning to being a branch campus of the four years, um, so they're getting rid of like their um, the um, it's not a league that they're WCC. in the WCC that they're in. So um, why was that like um, I guess necessary to get rid of? Um, so the WCC, the, the Wisconsin Collegiate Conference, is was a conference that was uh, created, I don't know how long ago, to primarily serve the UW colleges and some other uh, tech schools. And so that conference, the WCC, uh, because it primarily served the colleges, which no longer exist technically, and it was funded by the colleges, and those funds were basically given to all the receiving institutions, right, all the four years that got branch campuses, the receiving institutions all received this WCC funding. That was split up by system. Uh, system has had a, a consistent policy that when they distribute these funds, they don't mandate how those funds are spent or where they go. They're just distributions of these funds. And so effectively, WCC was defunded through the system decision to distribute these funds without mandate. And the WCC, the institution that served, no longer exists. Um, so, you know, who in system made this decision about how they're distributing and to, to do it this way? I don't know, but that's what system has done. Okay. So there are attempts to try to recreate the WCC, but they're coming up with a new business model and a new charter in essence, right? A new set of relationships that they'll be forming with the receiving institutions those four years. So effectively creating a new conference is the attempt with new funding. So would you create that conference for um why is it like a, a need to create a conference for club sports only? Well, for the club sports model that we're suggesting we transition into, there wouldn't be a conference. Okay. It would be, think of intramural activities, yeah. where it's between here or say Waukesha campus or something like that. So could